All right, so we're going to go from talking about upper 60s yesterday, low 60s today, and then the potential of some snow on Tuesday. Let's talk about Tuesday. We'll get the bad stuff over with first and then get on to the more pleasant parts of the seven day future cast. I am becoming more confident that early Tuesday morning would be the timing to see the most in the way of the sleet, the snow, the rain, the mess. So. Uh, slow Tuesday morning commute is likely so very early in the morning, say before seven or eight o'clock in the morning, likely some snow mixed with sleet, maybe some ice leading to some very slow travel on the roads. By late morning, we're changing over to a combination of sleet and just plain old rain showers. Still the possibility of some pretty slow travel. And then during the afternoon, likely just plain old rain showers with snow potentially continuing up to our north. Now keep in mind, this is very early in the game. Any little change in track of the system could really affect the timing of all this and the amounts that we're expecting. It's all about how quickly the snow and the sleet changes over to rain. If it takes a while for that to happen, we could be talking about accumulating snow, especially north and west of 295, say Smithfield and points north. But again, a lot of data to look at between now and then. So because of all that, we'll put you in the medium category on Tuesday for tonight into the weekend. We will keep you in the low category and on live pinpoint Doppler 12. Just a few specks of green here along the south coast. Most of the evening will be rain free, but the south coast like right here in Narragansett could see a few more showers before we are all said and done with the evening but things look relatively uh, trouble free right now. Temperatures still mild 55 in Providence, 55 Smithfield, 55 in Westerly. We're going to get a little cooler tonight compared to last night as some slightly cooler and drier air moves in from the west. Now out ahead of us, we have this trail of showers, but the bulk of this stays offshore tonight and then our next system will nudge in some mild air tomorrow, but Along with that comes the shower. So things start to change by tomorrow night in terms of the rain outlook. Here's what I mean. 4 p.m. We're still dry, partly sunny skies. Not a bad day, just a little cooler than what we had today. And then overnight Saturday into Sunday, that's when the best chance of showers this weekend will be. And some of those showers could be heavy at times Sunday night or Saturday night into early Sunday morning. This is a look at Sunday morning. Then I do think we'll see some breaks in the action during the day on Sunday with the chance of additional showers by Sunday evening. As for tomorrow, 47 degrees, 8 o'clock in the morning, partly sunny, partly sunny skies by noontime, temperature of 51 and holding on to the low 50s throughout the day. It's going to be a little breezier compared to the very calm conditions we had today. Winds out of the northeast at 5 to 15 miles an hour. So in the seven day future cast, just to break down Sunday a little bit more, Notice how I have a milder temperature compared to tomorrow. 59 degrees on Sunday. Some locations could get close to the low 60s, even reach the low 60s, depending on how long the showers last during the morning. But you can see I have showers in the morning, showers in the evening, but mild and dry in between. Again, if we can sneak in a little bit of sunshine on Sunday, it's going to end up being a pretty mild day, so stay tuned on that. Monday is much colder, no doubt about that. 40 for high temperature, breezy, blustery. And then Tuesday, we're watching that messy mix during a Tuesday morning, changing over to some rain showers in the afternoon. That Tuesday does not want to pull out for me because obviously nobody wants to see the snow and the ice. So I just will simply tell you about it. Stay tuned for details on that Tuesday future cast. It could end up just uh, with you know, almost no snow and being washed away by the rain, or we could end up with a plowable snow for the northern parts of our viewing area. Now on Wednesday, we're at 44 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds, likely showers on Thursday with highs in the 40s and then 43 on Friday with partly sunny skies. Of course, if you just got a new iPhone, you can download our app. You can find that on our website at WPRI.com. So after all, Kelly, it is December. We knew eventually some cold weather and maybe some snow, sleet and ice would get here. Yeah, and if you download that app, you can probably see what happens on Tuesday, even though your map wasn't working. That's right. Yeah, hopefully that will work better than my clicker was just now. Yes. All right, Pete, thanks so much. Coming up in Swords on Eyewitness News.